Hello, my most amazing artists, and welcome back to our virtual art class. I'm in my art class. Hopefully, you are having an awesome Monday. Today, I hope you are bringing your most very best coloring skills with you, because today, we got some coloring to do, okay? Here we go. So, last week, we used this key to make some artwork using our name and some symbols that represented different things about us, right? Okay, so I want you to get out your pencil drawing from last week. Hopefully you had some time to finish it up and get it just how you want it because today we are going to be using some colored pencils and markers to make it look fabulous. One thing I wanna show you, and this is what I teach my kids in person school all the time, is the difference between thick and thirsty and thin and wimpy coloring. Look at the difference here, my friends. When we use thick and thirsty coloring, we have nice, bold, thick outlines and really nicely colored insides. And then when we look at thin and wimpy coloring, it looks kind of scritchy, scratchy. There's white spaces in between and it just does not look as nice as thick and thirsty coloring. So today when we are doing our thick and thirsty coloring, remember what some of these things look like. We don't want thin and wimpy. The first thing that we're gonna do today to start off our coloring is that we are going to take markers and trace over all of our pencil lines that are in our picture. We are not gonna use markers to color anything because I just really don't like to color with markers. It's kind of hard to do that. So we're gonna use these guys to give us a nice, bold, thick outline over our pencil, okay? So um, we're gonna use markers to do that. If you do not have markers at home, you can always use a crayon to go over your pencil lines or you can use colored pencils and just push harder. But we do want our pencil lines to now be nice and thick and bold. So you can choose whatever colors you wanna do to outline those. colored pencils to color over our marker and to fill in the rest of our white space. What you can do after you have used markers to trace over your pencils, if there's any pencil lines that you can still see, you can get rid of those just by erasing them if you want to. I don't want to see those. Get out of here. Okay. Fun. Now I'm gonna use these colored pencils to color in my picture. So friends, what I have done is pick out um, the colors that I want to use, um, just so I can kind of get a feel for what my picture's gonna look like. You can use whatever color you want. I just chose to go with a cool colored theme, so I'm gonna use cool colored, colored pencils to color in my picture. Now, when we are coloring with colored pencils, it is so, so, so important to color nicely. So what that looks like is holding the pencil kind of farther back in your hand, and that lets you really get a good range like this. If you hold the pencil like you would hold a regular pencil, you can only move your hand this far. If you hold your pencil way back here, you get a nice range of coloring. 
So as I'm coloring, I am pressing down really lightly. And as I'm pressing down lightly, I have chosen one direction for my pencil to move in. So right now, even though I'm going pretty fast, my colored pencil is only going up and down, up and down, up and down. Do you see how I'm going up and down, up and down? I'm just doing it kind of fast. So even though I'm going fast, does it look like I'm scribble scrabbling all over the paper? No, I am still controlling my hand and making my way across my picture with my color. I am just choosing one direction and working my way down my picture. So when you are coloring today and when you're using color pencils, I want for you to really practice holding that pencil farther back in your hand, not way down here. Because when you hold it down here, you're forced to kind of push harder and scribble. We want to be um, pushing lightly with our pencil. So I'm going to finish working on my picture. I'm going to speed the video up a little bit, but I want you guys to really practice your very best coloring. I want you to take your time. I want you to push lightly and have fun. coloring my hand is cramping from all this beautiful coloring but I know that you can do it please take your time and make sure that you are doing all of those really nice coloring things that we talked about and I can't wait to see your finished product when you're done please take a picture using your Chromebook and upload it onto our Google Drive sorry not Google Drive our Google Classroom under the assignment Click turn in. I want to see everybody's beautiful artwork. I can't wait. I know they're going to look amazing. Happy Monday, my friends. I'll see you next week.